Good morning. Today is the day that I'm getting my hair cut short. Shorter. I know it's not like technically short. It's gonna be more like a mid-length cut, but today is the day that I'm getting my hair cut. I figured I would vlog it because actually one of you guys suggested that I vlog it, so I decided to vlog it. So yeah, we're getting started. I'm gonna start off by priming. I've really been liking this Ren Perfect Canvas Primer. Pat it all into my skin. Um, I really like how it kind of makes your skin feel nice and sticky. So actually super exciting. I'm first going to <laughs> keep prepping the skin. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior. I've really been liking using this as like a priming step. I do have a couple things that I really need to do before we head out. So I'm trying to get like my makeup and stuff done pretty quickly, something crashed and I heard it. <laughs> so the vibe we are going for haircut wise is Kourtney Kardashian. Um, I really like her like longer mid-length haircut and it's actually really exciting because I'm getting my haircut by Alex Brown. She was Jen Atkins uh, right hand for like five years I think. I'm just excited because you guys know me. I'm so I just don't trust people basically when it comes to my hair. Like I would rather cut my own hair and screw it up than let somebody else screw up. Why is this pilling? What is that? Oh crap, I think it's my eye cream. I'm just gonna brush these pills off. Something is pilling up all over my face. I think it's my new vitamin C serum. That's the only thing I've switched up. And so then I'm just like getting the pills off my skin. We're gonna re-prime the eyes. Anywho, Alex is a really amazing stylist. She does beautiful lob cuts. I've been following her for almost a year now and I'm really impressed with her work. So I trust her that she will cut my hair and make it amazing. So I'm so excited to like actually get my hair cut by a professional for the first time in such a long time. And also you guys know I've been like contemplating this for a couple weeks now and I just booked the appointment on Monday. So I was like, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna pop a little bit of Max Strobe Cream on just because I do want some illumination. Also, I got the new L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I got the shade 407 Natural Beige, which I hope matches me. Looks like it will. This is supposed to be a dupe for a high-end foundation. So I think that's a good match, don't you? Like, I think that's actually a real good match. So I'm just gonna swipe this all over my skin and then I'm gonna blend it in. I'm using, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna use my It Cosmetics brush, the Heavenly Luxe foundation brush. To just blend that in. I'm going for like lighter coverage today because I want my skin tone to be like even out, but I just, I'm not trying to deal with full coverage right now. I think I also might wear a turtleneck and since I'm not wearing the turtleneck right now, I don't want to pull a turtleneck over a ton of foundation. You know what I mean? These are things you have to think through before you do your makeup. Okay, so as I was looking into my monitor, I realized that I had the exposure turned up a little bit too high. So I don't know if you guys could see the gorgeousness reflection of this foundation. It's supposed to be a dupe for the hourglass one. So we shall see as we wear it throughout the day. You guys, aren't you glad this isn't a tutorial? I'm all over the place. I'm gonna try this concealer today. It's the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. And I'm gonna use the shade G Plus Medium 2. It's too light. We'll put a little bit of the Jouer Concealer on too. So... So a lot of exciting things. One, as you guys can tell by this video, the lighting is like super all over the place. That's just kind of the way it is during fall and winter. There's not like a lot of consistent sun and it's really hard to film using natural light, which is my preferred method. But during the fall and winter, it gets dark really early and there's just, it's too much. So um, I've been reworking up, setting up my filming room and just trying to make it look more the way I want. I didn't ever like, I filmed in it for a while last year, but I kind of gave up on it because I just didn't really love the background, but I've gotten some art pieces for the background, some new plants desk stuff. So hopefully the background just looks a little bit better. Filling in my brows and I'm also using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Would you be interested in like a lifestyle favorites video? Because I was thinking about sharing like, I don't know, like favorite random like foods and like workout stuff and workout clothes and all that. I was thinking about doing a lifestyle favorites video and just kind of sharing some lifestyle related favorites. <laughs> 
I thought that could be really fun because I'm actually really into lifestyle content, like watching lifestyle content right now. So I was thinking of just testing the waters with lifestyle and kind of see how that goes. I really like this concealer, by the way. Let's see, what did I do this morning that I didn't vlog? I'm trying to catch you guys up. So I got up around six and I worked out. I did some editing and I have two sponsored videos that are going up and I'm really excited about them, except the fact that they, I think they're gonna have to go up really close to each other. I kind of like spacing out my sponsored videos, but they were both filmed when I had long hair or with long hair and I just don't want to interrupt my videos like I don't want to do a bunch of long haired videos and then have a short haired video and then a long haired video again you know I just want them to all be in order so hopefully 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 the brand is cool with me going live a little bit earlier than geez doing your makeup and talking at the same time is actually like pretty therapeutic L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted scented blush is a scented oh it's just barely scented this one is in the shade Charming, which is kind of like a cinnamon brown. I'm obsessed with it. You guys know I love like brownish blushes. And this one is just really like soft and sweet. It's not overly pigmented. So it's really easy to just kind of flick on the cheeks and you don't have to worry about it looking too crazy. It just blends out really nice. So I'm just gonna pop on some of that LA Girl eyeliner. This is the one that I've been talking about to you guys like nonstop. I just really, really like it. I just really, really like it. It's so creamy and pigmented. I'm like looking at the monitor trying to make sure that you guys can see me. And then I always like to take it like a little in the waterline. So I'm like finally starting to feel better, but my eyes are still always bloodshot. I feel like I always look high, but I'm not high. But my eyes always look so glazed over and glossy. For highlight, I'm gonna use a Champagne Pop Poured and this little stippling brush from Ibi Cosmetic. And I just like to kind of swirl it into the product and then you can always like dust it off on the back of your hand. And I just like really buffing this into the skin. Like really creating a wet, glossy sheen. Okay, so I'm gonna set my face really quick. I'm using the Lancome Fix It and Forget It. Don't go on my coffee. Just bring this everywhere. I'm gonna line my lips. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. Like this is the best lip liner for taking your lip line. You make your lips look so much bigger with this lip liner. And it's like waterproof, long wearing. So you can leave it on while you eat. Lipstick is Marc Jacobs J'adore. Yes, I bought this because of Emily Ratajkowski. And I think I'm actually just gonna use it and do another Emily Ratajkowski tutorial because you guys really liked the last one I did. So I just do like a different look of hers where she's wearing this. So for mascara today, I'm using Dior Show Waterproof. I just repurchased this baby. It is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I don't buy it all the time because I love drug drugstore mascara and I think drugstore mascara is just as good. But I absolutely love this mascara. It is my favorite high-end mascara ever and... I am 100% a drugstore mascara girl. I don't think like you need to splurge on a bunch of mascaras, but sometimes, you know, you just find like the one and this is the one for me. Like it's so good. All right, so this is the look for today. I just wanted to do something like fast and easy, something that wouldn't require a lot of touch-ups throughout the day just because I do have like a bunch of random things I'm trying to do and I just didn't feel like bothering with anything too crazy. So this is the last sit down video I'll be filming with this long hair. So I'm excited to get it cut today, guys. I have a couple things that I need to do. And then I think I'm filming this on my 5D Mark III, but I think what I'm gonna do is bring the vlog camera. I might bring this to the haircut today, I don't know. But I'm gonna get dressed, I'm gonna do some work, and then I'll be back. So, driving right now in Annoying traffic as per usual in Chicago. Do you think I need to be in the Wisconsin lanes or the West Burbs lane? No, I think you're good in this lane. Okay. Doesn't seem to do anything. I mean, you're taking an exit on the right. Okay, so basically we literally, literally just spent half an hour looking for parking. And it was super stressful because I was so stressed that I was <laughs> what? No, just funny. Why? Because now we got a Mariano's parking spot. So oh. Legit parking spot. Yeah, so we found parking, free two hour parking for if you go to Mariano's, Massage Envy, or 
Ulta or something. So we got a parking space everywhere that was paid to park was pretty much taken and then the whole right side of the street you can't park on on Wednesday of all days no street parking on Wednesday so we found parking with 30 minutes to spare woes of the day we got one of the last parking spaces people are starting to fight over them now <laughs> starting to get aggressive out here. yeah lots of honking we got honked at because I didn't realize I had my lights on and we were just chilling in the car so I turned them off and they drove away Oh, really? Mm-hmm. With me. With me? <laughs> You'd be like, what do I do? <laughs> we were turning, and it's hard to explain. So, like, it was a six-way stop, it was essentially. A three, it was three lanes. But it was a six-way stop, because yeah. there were two lanes on each side. So then, it was actually a seven-way stop. What? No, I were... don't... It was all those know. lanes. It was, like... It was a road, but it was split into three from each way, so I was from confused. From each way. And it was not one ways, but it said it was a one way, so it was confusing. So we stopped, and then Luke was like, oh, you turn left. So I turned left, and since I already started making my move, the other cars, you know, they don't wait for you to finish your move, so they're already going. And then I see other cars coming from the opposite, so I turned into a one way, and I braked really fast, and all these cars were going this way. And I was like, Luke, what do I do? <laughs> and then he made fun of me. Cause so she stopped in the middle of traffic, in oncoming traffic, and screamed what I do. What do you have just gone down? <laughs> I would've just went around it. I'm like, not the right way. Well, there were cars coming from behind me. That's why I didn't stop. Mark Jacobs. Shador. I just like tap it on. It's just so good. We're only 23 minutes from DMK if we decided to go on that. I'm down. Should I do the aviators or the wayfarers? I don't know. I almost feel like the wayfarers are the way to go. They're just more my vibe today. Wayfarers, yeah. I got a parking space for free, and I was like, I'm gonna have to pay to park. Saving that money. Because I'm about to get a really expensive haircut. So Luke and I ended up finding the place. It was kind of hard to find because it was not where it actually showed up on maps. And like building down. yeah. So now we just have a little bit of time to kill. So we're just farting around for a few minutes. Um, cause I did peep in there and she was doing someone else's hair. So I don't want to like be in there too early. So we're just farting around.
can mix it in too. You can you like mix it with your liquid powder? Yeah, exactly. I really like that. Have you tried their halo scope? The highlighter? No. You should try that. It's so good. Especially if you're like your vibe is like natural. Yeah. You should try the halo. Too. Good. Yeah, it looks really nice. I love it. So PC and Nikki. Should do a hair wave or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hair flip. I love it. I'm seriously so excited. I think I'm gonna keep my hair short for a while. Or I know people are gonna be like, it's not short, but I'm gonna keep my hair short. mid length for a while. I love it. They seriously blow dried my hair in 10 minutes. It's been taking me like half an hour to get my hair blow dried recently and I feel like my hair really hit that point where it was just there. Like that's what I was telling Luke was like my hair was just like so long to the point where it was almost just like nothing at that point and like it just like always looked there. And like now I feel like so like trendy and posh and I feel like it's I love it. It's so lightweight too though. I can't wait to see what it looks like like up and styled all the different way. But I love it. It's so fun. And I'm, I haven't been this excited about my hair in years. Like I think I get excited about my hair when it's blonde, but no, this is so exciting. It's like... Like, the situation right now is that Luke and I are walking to Glossier. We're gonna oh go shit, see right Glossier right Chicago. of ice cream and share it which is super bad because today's Wednesday and we usually eat healthy Monday through Friday and then we eat bad on Saturdays Monday Monday Friday sa Sunday Saturday is the usually the only day of the week that we eat bad but <clears throat> today we're eating some bad stuff and oh yeah so we just left DMK we're walking to Uber Wees and then going home Ooh, it's cold out it's so fucking cold I can't wait to go home and put a sweater on chocolate apple pie oh now you're smooth it's literally so fucking cold okay it's literally so cold that it hurts. It hurts. That girl just fall on her ass or something. Oh, she, she did. Oh no. <laughs> her butt's all dusty. Oh. I hope she didn't get hurt. It kind of looked like she thought we saw her. <laughs> she probably did fall in. She looked over at us like. Like. <laughs> like. Oh, she was like. Ha! <laughs> like, <laughs> just yelled, saw you, even though we didn't. She was like, hopefully no one saw. And then when, like, we didn't acknowledge it i think she was like <laughs> alex taught me how to style my hair like this this like just like light effortless bend with a curling iron so i am going to do a tutorial on this hairstyle and she used all whey products on me so i have all the products that she used so i probably will just do like an all whey tutorial Ugh, that ice cream made me feel like stuffed. If there's a curb, I'll ride yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Lucas always makes this joke that all I do is ride over curves, and so I, my brother and I were making fun of my dad because when we were moving one time, my dad rode over a curb in a semi, not a semi, like a U-Haul car, 
with the semi like attachment to it and he literally rode a curb so hard he pulled a light post out of the ground and my brother and I were like okay curb rider and then I told Lucas that joke and now Lucas calls me curb rider all the time oh all right you just gotta commit and put yourself out there and not let these people block you out oh, you yeah. get up there and do your thing. I hate doing a city left your nose out there you got it go 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 okay. go Oh my god, oh my god. There you go. Turn right onto North Lake Shore. My camera couldn't handle this left. Insane this. So now, anytime I ride a curb, which is so, somewhat often. <laughs> One, at least three times a week. <laughs> now whenever I ride a curb, Lucas, he always makes some sort of joke. Or if I ride a curb, because you know when you ride a curb, it just like shakes the car a little bit. Lucas goes like, ah! <laughs> Okay, so we just got back home. I have a little bit of work that I have to do. I have to make a video live, make a thumbnail, do an Instagram post, and I think I have like one other thing I have to do. So I am going to change out of my clothes. So basically right now, I have a Neutrogena video that I filmed and I'm actually really excited about it because it's using the um, Hydro Boost line and you guys know that I love the Neutrogena Hydro Boost tint so I didn't make a tutorial with that and I'm basically just trying to get everything is sponsored by this video is sponsored by Neutrogena um tutorial double checking that I have like so I'm basically just double checking that I have everything in line and that all the edits are good I am uploading the video and now I'm gonna make my thumbnail and then I have to do product links because I'm gonna like list all the products in the description box for you guys and then I have to do my Instagram post. So now, video's live, links are done. Now I have to make my thumbnail. So then I just got the thumbnail file on my phone through email. And then I usually use Lightroom just to kind of like play with the lighting, just like the Lightroom mobile app. It's really just a lot of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And now, my Instagram post is live. So, I'm excited. And I'm also really excited because that post that I just made live for this video, I have my long hair in it, and then I have one other video going up that's sponsored again, but I have long hair in it. And that's why I wanted to do them back to back. Usually when I do sponsored content, I like to kind of like break them up, but bear with me guys, for the sake of all my videos being cohesive and you guys seeing this hair, I didn't want to have to do video with long hair, short hair, long hair again. You know what I mean? Like I just wanted them to all kind of like go together. So, I'm excited. I'm gonna do that last sponsored video on Friday. Today's Wednesday, so then I'll have the last one going up Friday, and then we go into short-haired programming. So it's gonna be fun. I think though that tomorrow on Thursday, I think I'm gonna show. I'm getting this 
huge jit right here. So annoying. But, so, tomorrow, I'm gonna show my hair on Instagram. I'm gonna tell everybody that I cut it. And I'm excited, I love it, I'm so excited. I can't, I, it sounds so weird, but I actually can't wait to like, wash my hair and style it and see like how much faster it is and how much less maintenance it is. So, other than that, I think that I'm going to end this vlog here because Luke and I are going to watch Are You The One? And I am going to take my makeup off. I'm going to take my makeup off and we're going to watch Are You The One? First time vlogging. Let's see if I really do it because I'm seriously telling you guys like now I'm going off on a tangent but I vlogged so much this past year. It's crazy. Like I tried to vlog 2018 like ringing in the year in florida tried to vlog that tried to vlog la two different times tried to vlog new york like four or five times vlogged hawaii miami like i've been vlogging i just chicken out and never upload them <laughs> so i do all the vlog and then I'm just like, nobody's gonna wanna watch this. So I've never uploaded a vlog, but this one I'm like forcing myself to upload it because I think it's something. But I wish I had uploaded the other vlogs, but you know, there's always time to do new stuff. So I am really going to take my makeup off now. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.